Time for round two in our Mastercam versus battle. So this time Mastercam 2020 versus Mastercam X9. And we are going to forego the dramatic intro. So on, on to the video. Let's start over in X9 first. So I got the same part opened up in both, um, just using a default mill. The machine that we've selected here is not going to affect any of the um, the actual tool pathing at all. So, uh, in this video as well, I'm just mainly going to be focusing on some 2D, well, specifically 2D dynamic milling tool paths, just because I want to focus on the selection methods available to you in the different versions and how those can obviously speed your uh, your programming up. So on a part like this, what I'm going to look at is, is hitting these pockets with a dynamic mill, um, hitting these, these edges over here, this pocket in here with the two open edges, we'll try and hit that one as well. And same thing with inside these boards here, we'll, we'll try and uh, machine those two. Okay, so um, Mashcam X9, we'll start here first, toolpath. Uh, 2D high speed and there is the dynamic mill tool path. So this again my dynamic mill came out in about x4 uh, So it's been around at this point in this software for a few versions. It's very mature at this point uh, So you would expect that this is as good as it's going to get and I'll show later on that it does in fact get better with the newer releases so dynamic mill And here we go. We're ready to start uh, doing some selection. So if we focus on these pockets here first uh, we're going to be doing a stay inside and we just need to select the regions that we want to machine. So pretty straightforward. Um, we'll do some face selection. I think that's the easiest way to go here and just come in and grab that face. That's straightforward. Grab that face. Again, pretty straightforward. Now, if we want to do these three uh, circles in here, these three circle cavities, uh, using a face is obviously no good. If we grab this face, it will return both the outside edge and the inside edge, and we just want the outside. So over here, we're gonna to have to switch over to uh, just a loop selection. Not a big deal. Um, grab that. The only thing is here, we have to do this confirmation here that we're actually getting the loop on the correct face. Okay, so let's just quickly uh, grab those. All right, so we've got our geometry in there. Now we're going to, uh, you know, on to the next step, just hit okay, and come in and set our parameters for our tool path. So we're just going to click on OK. And there's our tool paths as expected. All right, so that's uh, that's good. So let's move on and let's maybe hit up uh, this face in here next. So again, I'm going to go tool path, 2D high speed, dynamic mill. I want to machine this guy, so I want to stay inside machining region. I can grab that face. And air regions, I've got... Uh, a piece here and a piece here that are air regions. So let's go ahead and select that. Uh, single edges, so I'm just gonna go over here to edge selection. Let's pick that edge and that edge. Okay, so you think we're probably fine. Let's hit okay. The tool path settings should all be the same from the previous uh, creation. Again, we're just gonna click okay. Uh, I get a bit of a problem here. Unable to match open uh, chain to machining region. So here is a bit of a problem in X9. Yeah, save the operation. Yes. We can't have two different air regions. So that's a no-no. So I'm going to have to delete one of these. And now the rebuild will work fine. Um, however, you can tell now that if this is not in fact an air region, the toolpath will not come outside of it. So we would have to do some geometry creation, extend this edge off here, loop it back up here, and connect it back to this side so the toolpath does in fact get outside of that wall. Okay, so I'm not going to go through that geometry creation. We did some of that in the previous video, so let's just leave that as is. We know we need to do some geometry creation here to get that toolpath outside the second open edge. Okay, let's have a look at uh, maybe this edge over here. So again, let's go up to our tool paths, dynamic. So we're going to do a stay inside. So let's select our region. I want to grab this face, but I don't want this inside stuff. So let's just go with a loop. And let's grab this loop. 
I'm not getting a good connection because it's... Yeah, there it is. Actually, I think it's grabbing the face that's not wanting to grab the loops. Let's just uh, clear that, yes. This is not gonna be an easy collect. There it is, there's the outside loop. Okay, so that's our machining region and we're gonna add this entire outside edge as a uh, open region so we can come in from the outside here. So air regions, to get all of this, we'll have to go to a partial loop. Let's first grab that guy right there. So we'll get the entire open edge and we'll swing around to this side. And that looks to be the last piece right there. Okay, so there's our open open edge. Settings in here should all be good again, green check. And there's our finished uh, open region cutting in there. So, so far so good. It hasn't um, been an overly difficult tool pathing session yet. Um, but I think it's, it's straightforward enough. We'll, we'll maybe move over to uh, 2020 now and have a look at a few differences. Okay, so 2020. Again, we'll tackle those same three, um, well, sorry, that would be five pockets first. The cavities, so stay inside, machining regions. Uh, so we're gonna start here basically the same way. We'll be doing some face selection. Just grab that face, grab that face. And 2020 will still behave the same way. If I tried to grab this face here, it will in fact return both edges as geometry, which we don't want. So we still have the option of doing a loop. We can grab this loop in here, and we again have to confirm that we are um, getting the loop from the correct face. Uh, however, in 2020, we've got another option that can speed things up a little bit. So we've got this button here called Outer Edges. So let's turn that guy off. So with Outer Edges, the difference now being when I grab this edge, or when I select this face, it's gonna grab the outer edge and I don't have to confirm that that's the edge I indeed want. So I'm just one click instead of two. So we're cutting down on button clicks, which if you use Mashcam a lot, the less clicks that you can make, uh, the better. So that was a much easier selection for those, uh, those three circular cavities. Okay, so green check. Another benefit we have here in 2020, now this is not a 2020 specific uh, version feature, but the preview chains is a difference between 2020 and X9. And again, this is extremely useful, is, is that you can see what you're giving your toolpath as far as information about what you wanna cut. Before you go into your toolpath, make all your parameter settings only to find out you didn't select your geometry correctly. So this is a good check to make sure that you've got your geometry selected correctly before you even go into your toolpath and start making the parameter settings. Incremental zero. Okay, so toolpaths look the same. The next feature we hit on the over on the other side was this guy in here next. So let's hop into that. Dynamic mill, machining region. We're again just gonna grab this face. So I could do face selection. I've got outer edges uh, on this feature. Grabbing the face would be the same as the outer edge. So instead of switching, I'm just gonna grab the outer edges. Okay, so that's, that's great, green check. Uh, air regions, we have the two air regions. As mentioned in X9, we couldn't have the two separate air regions. It created a problem. In 2020, multiple air regions is totally fine. It, doesn't care, it, it in fact likes it, and there's in fact even a super easy way to select um, air regions. So this selection button here, open edges, switch to that method, click on this face, it returns both open edges, green check, preview my geometry before I get into it so I can see the open edges there in blue, green check, green check my op, and that face is all nicely done, and it's coming outside of both open edges. So let's have a look at this feature over here this time. So let's go into dynamic. Machining region, we're staying inside. I want to grab the outer edges first. If I do, the, as I said, if I do grab the face, I'll return the inside loop, which I don't want. So I just want the outer edges. Select the face, hit okay. Air regions, 
Same thing as before, I wanna grab the open edges, click here, that's a much simpler selection than uh, the partial loop was over an X9, green check. Do my preview, looks great, green check, green check to complete the op. And obviously that's done. So this is obviously, as you're noticing, going much, much faster. So let's maybe even look at this ledge over here now. Dynamic machining region. I want to grab the outer edge, green check, air region, whatever is open, click on that, hit OK, let's preview the chain. There you can see what we're about to, uh, to give our toolpath for geometry cutting information, green check, green check, and that ledge is done. So notice it's not machining in here, it is transitioning. So if this movement in here is too long, we can make some adjustments inside of the toolpath to reduce that cutting motion. It's there. So now we're seeing the retracts instead of the feeding motion repositioning. So that's, again, that's not a 2020 specific feature. It was just uh, something I thought I should address before I went too much further. And let's do one more piece of geometry here just to show some more uh, selection options. Let's go dynamic again. And let's look at this whole face up here. Um, so this time, machining region. I want to machine this face here. I don't want to click the face, otherwise I'll be returning the outside edge plus the bosses plus the cavities. So I just want the outer edge of this face. That's my machining region. I'm going to hit this from the outside, so I'm allowing it to come from the outside of that. Now we have avoidance items. I want to avoid and I want to avoid these two bosses. So here we've got uh, an option for bosses. Click on that and it returns all bosses on that face. Let's preview this chain. There you can see our machining region, our avoidance region, and our open edges. Green check, green check, and those faces are all done. So with a rough estimate, you could see that I've basically machined 90% uh, of this part in probably uh, less amount of time than it took me to do about 50% of this part over here. Uh, so let's uh, finish with this look here. We'll, we'll wrap this video up now. Uh, maybe we'll do a second video where we look at some of the 3D tool paths and some of the other functions. Um, but all in all, this video is long enough and let's wrap things up.